is currently like 5.18 a.m. I'm about to go to work. I have an early morning cleaning shift that I'll be covering for one of my coworkers today. About to have some tea. Um, I stayed up late last night working on my last two uploads. So I'm a little tired, but that's okay. Um, oh, look at the doggy dog. Nice. And the man's is vaping. Hell yeah. Anyways, so today, supposedly, my new pedal is coming in, so I'm really excited about that. Also tonight, I'm going to go skating outside with my homie Miguel while we walk with Jose and Pula. So that'll be pretty cool. Gonna get some cool shots from that. Uh, let me go see if my tea is done. It is still very smoky outside. The fire on my arm is still going. It looks epic, but also terrifying at night. Literally looks like some demon creatures about to come out from that mountain. But it's just nature. Um, but yeah, it really just smells like campfire in the house, everywhere. My eyes are really irritated from it. Cheers. I'm really excited about my new pedal. I'm gonna have some cool footage of that, I think. Maybe have a little bit of a review. Maybe an unboxing. I don't know. Yes, sir. around Jesus Pete, partner with 26 and then start like you know and, and new cars make the best used cars certified used car owners great lease deal on a certified decisions by the new Honestly, I just want to say this really briefly. I'm so freaking tired of the fire and 2020. I just want things to go to some inkling of a form back to normal, but obviously that's not going to be until a good while. It really is stressful. Right now is a time when like we want our health to be in tip top shape like at all times. And when there's a fuck ton of smoke everywhere your throat is definitely gonna feel it especially if you're sensitive to things like that and you have asthma and such so like it really causes kind of a slight amount of anxiety when you wake up and you feel like a, an irritated throat and i mean you know you just like your mind at least my mind goes to, to worse it's like oh my gosh my throat's starting to hurt the swallowing is it kind of hurting? I'm not sure. Like you're always checking. Body is like on high alert because you don't want to have COVID-19, obviously. But yeah, man, like it's just like, ah, uh, tired of it. I'm on my way to work. I got my mask. My job today is to vacuum the entire floor. Anyways, all right, peace out. I'm gonna stop light. <laughs> And I am here to open up and clean. Shoop. We have arrived to the block. The block.
it's almost 6.45 a.m. After a little bit of vacuuming, I feel fantastic. Don't know what it is, but it's, it's a good feeling. Anyways, since it's almost 6.45, well, a coworker is slated to come in soon and I do not want to show that I'm recording and making videos for YouTube, at least not just yet. But I just want to get one last shot and here it is. guys so the motion thingy doesn't seem to work too well I think when there's no face to recognize so the camera didn't really follow me too well but it's almost 6 45 and uh, I still need to vacuum a fair amount and one of my co-workers is about to come in so that being said I'll see you guys at home Okie dokie guys, I got done vacuuming the gym and I got my little bit of uh, and I got a little bit of climb on which is really nice bunch of really good climbs there great way to start the day get the blood pumping time to go home and probably take a fat nap because I'm tired and wait for my pedal oh yeah alright, peace out Dokey. Um, so I spent all morning researching reverb and delay pedals, and I think I'm gonna go for the Reverb RV6 by Boss. It's not too expensive. Sweet to check out. Contact info. One. Oh. Oh. Boss pedal. Let's open it up. What is this? Oh, get backstage? Nah. Mumbo jumbo. There fucking is. Hell yeah. Personally, I really like boss pedals. I feel like they're very standard pedals and they're very reliable. And goddamn, does this look nice? Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Let's see. Hell yeah. Effect level, tone time of delay and the different kinds of reverbs it could be stereo it could be mono Oof. and you could plug it into an adapter with a DC direct current 9 volt I can't wait to use it I am going to go and try it out with my acoustic Let's go.
So we're going to try out my new pedal. Right now we will try it in like its default mode, which is with all the dials to 12 o'clock. All right. We're gonna try this off of my PV combo app. Amp. Let's plug this puppy in. Turn it on. Let's see what happens. Watch it be like, Wah! oh wow. Turn it up. Let's take the effects off. Now we're going to take the effects level all the way up. Pretty bright. To my liking, a little too bright, but still really sick. Let's see what happens when I take the tone down and bring the effects level up. Oh, could have been a worse time to get a shitty flapper. Let it be known right now, this very moment, yesterday. Or not yesterday, two days ago, I burned my hand like a like a dummy on Jose's cast iron skillet. I took it out of the oven after the oven was at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Took it out with my with the oven mitt, right? And I placed it on top of the stove. And then I noticed that the handle was kind of in the way because I was cooking something on the stove. So I said, hmm, let me move this. Completely having forgotten that I just taken it out of the stove. And so with my other hand, my free hand, even though I still had the mitten on my right hand, I fully grasped the handle, fully grasped it, and moved it. And it really only, it took like a second, or a second and a half, to realize that I just burned myself, and I, I yelled, it was pretty painful. So it left a little bit of a blister. And today, while climbing, this morning, I ripped it open, and it created a very unique flapper that it, it stings like a bitch. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. See that? That's like right in the way of playing guitar. And when your hand sweats, it really fucking stings. So, let's keep messing around with this. Woo! Right now this thing is on like compressed, ah oh, shit, tacky mushrooms. All right, let's keep messing around with this. I'm gonna turn the effects all the way to the right to modulated mode. We're gonna put the effects level again at 12 o'clock, and let's see what happens. Oh, yes. See what happens. Open E minor. Holy shit, that's like a splash of sound. Wow. Okay, let's take the tone down. Let's take it all the way up. Take the effects down. Now 
let's go to spring. Let's see what the spring sounds like. so dirty it's like getting a bunch of just gross stuff in it and it's definitely not good all right let's take the time up see if that does anything oh i think it's the time of the just of the how that's the, the amount of time it takes for the reverb to die off essentially because reverb is like when you get reverb in a room it's because like a lot of sound waves are bouncing back from the source of the sound right so the more um objects in a room the less reverb there's going to be because the sound waves are going to be basically interrupted in their path. But that's why a giant hall is, um, has just a bunch of reverb, right? It's because it's built to have that sound just travel out and then travel back and the reverb, you know, goes back and forth. There's like really cool ways to make reverb happen. Nowadays it's all, you know, electronic, but back in the day, um, like old studios had like reverb chambers, which was just like a giant chamber where um, the it was just a performer in there and they would have like the microphone set up, I think like at several locations in that chamber to get the effect of the reverb. But now we got technology. I hope it's still recording by the way. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, my hand is on fire. That's not wrong. Wow, so that's a short die out, see?
All right, guys. So, classic problem. My phone ran out of space in the middle of doing the review. I think it ran out on the... I'm not really sure what setting, actually. I think it was the room reverb. But, um, just because I'm not really feeling going through all of them, like, individually. All in all, I just gotta say that this pedal is amazing. It sounds awesome. I was just having a lot of fun with it right now on the um, louver pedal and the distortion pedal. And it just comes, it comes out with, like, a really just, honestly, like, trippy, but, like, trancy sound. Especially the shimmer. The shimmer is awesome. Um, I don't think I got on film right now, so I'm gonna just do a little sample of that um, by itself because I think it deserves its own little sample. But check this out. So right now, um, with the looper pedal, this might sound right off the bat like incredibly cacophonous, but it's still really freaking cool. All right. guys this is gonna be the last footage of this part of the video because my phone keeps running out of space and I keep deleting stuff and it's really annoying I'm going to make videos out of a couple of trips from the last year one including the summer trip that Jose and I took and the other one is going to be just kind of like a little bit of a slideshow series of a 
India this winter break, um, this last winter break, for Franny's wedding and also for the Golden Triangle, the Triangle Dorado that our friends Pachis, Gabe, Annalise, and Jose and I took, which was super fun. Honestly, it was a really cool trip and I think it'd be fun to make a little bit of a video out of that, if anything. It's not gonna be amazing because the videos weren't taken with the purpose of you know, making them into a video, but I'm, I just need to make them. Lastly, the reverb pedal is amazing. It is definitely worth it. Um, I love messing around with it. You guys heard it. And yeah, it's got my thumbs up, obviously. I don't know. I mean, again, Boss is very reliable. For now, thank you for watching this part. And thank you, Boss.